As an art student, it's always really useful to look at the work of others so you can learn from their techniques. So what I'm going to do is show you an example of an A-level sketchbook that got uh, top marks. It's A-star work. It got top marks because it's got lots of really high quality drawing in it. It's got use of a variety of different media. It's got links to the work of other artists and you can really see a creative journey developing through it. Now there are a thousand and one different ways of developing your artwork and I don't want you to think that this is the way that you should do it. Uh, but do take note of the, uh, the styles of drawing that are going on. Have a look at the way that the work is displayed, is presented on the page. Look at the balance between the images and the text and the overall quality of the work. Please remember that it's important that you find your own way of working but whether you're following the AQA specification or Edexcel or any of the others, the important thing is to make sure that drawing underpins everything else you do. Drawing comes in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. You can draw with pencil, with paint, with wire in three dimensions. I suppose you're even drawing with light when you're taking photographs. But the drawing has to be there and that informs everything else that goes on. Okay. I'll show you the images and hopefully they'll help.
So there you go. What I haven't shown you there are the final outcomes that the student produced and they were fantastic as well. And don't forget that your final A-level grade is based on a holistic mark. So all your preparatory work is looked at and the final outcomes and a grade is generated from that. It is marked against the four assessment objectives and you can go online and check those out and I'm sure your teacher will show you those anyway. Uh, also remember that component one, which accounts for 60% of your overall mark, it's called a personal investigation. That means that the work is personal to you. That means that you decide what you're going to do. It's not the teacher deciding for you. As teachers are there to support you and to help you and to help you realise your full potential. We're not there to be telling you what to do. So always keep that in mind. Always retain ownership of your work. That's the way that you'll develop as a really effective creative practitioner. Okay, I hope that's helped and I'll see you again soon. Bye.